Fechando com ele.
So, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God Almighty for another opportunity that has been presented to us. I hope everybody is fine. I hope everybody is fine. 
the radio. Mm, that's that's your radio. radio. Evelyn, how are you? Yes. Brother Kevin. Kevin, you've opened your camera. It's that time, baby. Uh, that's what I'm doing. So good. Let us on let, let our cameras. All right. Put up our microphones. <laughs> Step on our cameras and put up our microphones so that the thing will look more like live something. But the interaction will be uh, appreciated. Okay. God bless all of you. All right. Let's pray before we start. Thou art King of Kings, thou art Lord of Lords. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory for another opportunity you have given to us. This very minute, Daddy, we are here to study your word. Talk to us. And again, we shall come to the throne of grace with our plea, with our petition and prayers. I commit everybody in this meeting into your hands. Touch their hearts. Bless them. Let a message bring transformation in our lives. I pray and I rebuke the enemy. I come against every principality. I nullify all the activities of the wicked one. Heavenly Father, take your rightful place. Bless all of us in this message. May today's meeting be a blessing for to all of us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. Thank you. Today, the message we are going to look at, the message is entitled, you cannot deceive anybody but yourself. Take a minute if I write everything. You cannot deceive anybody but yourself. You know, there come at times where we portray artificial character to people that we want them to believe that we are that person, that um, personified character. We impersonify a character that is a character that we are not. We try to live artificial life. We try to let people see a character that is different from our real character. But now, my question is this, whom are you deceiving? Nobody but yourself. You cannot deceive anybody but yourself. Let me tell you, sometimes you might succeed in luring people to accept your illusion, luring people to accept your deceptive ways, or lure people, or make people believe your deceptive or all the lies. But believe me, you should know and you must understand that you don't deserve their trust. You might end up deceiving some, but at the end, you'll be fooling yourself. Because at the end, the truth will come to light. Everything will come out from the dark. So it will expose your real personality. Are you getting me? Whoever you are is who you are. Be real and be yourself. You can only deceive yourself. You know, sometimes we want people to know we are someone that we are not. The person you know who say, yeah, yeah, I say, yeah, 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 y
while in actual fact, we are not. Whom are you deceiving? You're deceiving yourself. You know, we want to go to heaven. We claim we are candidates of heaven. We are doing everything so that we can inherit the kingdom of heaven, or the kingdom of God. But some of us who live in a charade, we are living in a charade. We have become masqueraders. We have double life. When we are alone in our closet, <laughs> we have a different character. We are different. We live different life. And when we are in the public, we portray another life, different life. This kind of double life, double standard will lead you nowhere. I am here to exhort you that if you are living artificial life, if you are telling people to be, uh, uh, telling people that you are someone you are not, I'm here to advise you. I'm here to exhort you. Put an end to it. Don't live artificial life. Don't live an artificial life. I don't know, as if you say, we are too spiritual. I mean, why? You are carnal human being. We are one now. You cannot deceive anybody by yourself because you think you're deceiving people, but at the end, you know that you're deceiving yourself because you came alone and you will die alone. When you appear before the judgment seat of God, the people you deceive will not be there. You'll be there alone to answer yourself. There's a message that the Lord gave to me and I shared with the church. The title is the exam of the heavenly candidate. If you go to our page, YouTube, you type Salvation Way Family Church, and then you query the search um, the title, Candidate of um, the Heavenly Candidates. You will get that video, and, you, and when you watch it, you will know that everything you do is an exam you are writing. I think that maybe I know, and you're talking about it all. Let's go to scriptures. We're taking from Galatians chapter 6, verses 3 to 8. Galatians chapter 3, 6, verse 3 to 8. I'm sweating. Forgive me. You are too serious. That's me if you are sweating. Understand this. Please, everybody should make sure you take something out of all the exhortation that you have been hearing because you are not in this room, you're not in this meeting for nothing. Make sure by the end of this meeting, you go with something. So the law is talking to you. You know yourselves. Devil Galatians 6, chapter 3, verse, chapter 3, uh, Galatians chapter 6, verse 3 to 8. I'm reading for the New King James Version. If you have a Bible, you can also open and read along with me. I'm going to take it verse by verse so that we. We go through one by one. Go through them one by one. Now, Galatians chapter number six, verses three. The Bible says this: If, for if anyone thinks himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Wow. Wow. 
like seriously? Bible said that for if anyone thinks himself to be something, now what is that something? He is righteous. No, he thinks he is righteous. He thinks he is holy. He thinks he is lovely. He has love. He thinks he is faithful. He thinks. He has peace in himself. He thinks he's sober. He thinks he's watchful. He thinks he has faith. He thinks he has joy. He thinks he has long suffering. Are you getting me? Someone thinks of himself to be all these. Which in actual fact, he is not. Now, what is this person thinking? Whom does he think or she thinks he, she is deceiving? My sister, if you think you are something whilst you are not, you are making us believe that you are that. What's in actual fact, you know yourself that you are not the kind of person you are impersonating. What? kind of character you are portraying to us, which you are not. My sister, I will say, I can tell you, but see me yourself. He thinks he is law abiding person. You, you will hear her saying, I, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I love God. What's in actual fact, all your character and your behaviors prove the opposite. Usman wa bara bo enchere se udo Yesu, but wano diye uni pa na wuli ye bribi chire. You are thinking, you are thinking us to be fools. We are not. In fact, you are the one who is fooling yourself. And at the end, you know that you have done your own self. Why your own? He think of himself to be something. Or who who said? But can he say? Or you be? Ah, on yeni papu asi oye no. We will see you preaching outside. People will see you and they call you evangelist, evangelist. What's natural fact? What you are doing, you are doing to please some people. You are not evangelist, though. People see you that you are a very good church attendant. And so, as someone who goes in, and you can be, can be, you can be. You are deceiving yourself. You don't miss church activities. You don't miss church anytime there is assembly. Anytime there is worship service, you are there. People see you to be very good Christian. Whilst you yourself know that your aim or your mission there is not what they are thinking. So you are getting them confused. My sister, my brother, you are dead deceiving yourself. See how you are wearing this robe from your neck to the feet. You call yourself, I'm a holiness member. Me your holiness name. Look at your heart. Look at the kind of heart you are having. Someone goes to church purposely because of marriage. Pastor is not one to know Is that why you're going to church? Isn't it? Isn't it? 
to what, what, what the word of God says. Bible says that for if anyone takes himself to be something, to be something, but that he's in the church, she is in the church, everybody sees him say, this lady, this gentleman does not play with his or her worship services. What's in actual fact? You're not there because you want to worship God, but you are there, you want to marry. Whom are you deceiving? Whom are you deceiving? You don't have the car, and you saw your friend driving a car, and you said, my brother, please, let me sit inside the driver's seat, hold the steer, so that I will do a video or I'll take selfie for people to think the car belongs to me. What's natural fact? The car doesn't belong to you. You are just asking your friend to lend you the front seat, the driver's seat, for you to take selfie so that you will post it on social media for people to believe that to deceive people that. The car belongs to you. Whilst in actual fact, the car does not belong to you. My sister, my brother, my dear, whom are you seeing? Whom are you seeing? The problem here is the network Wi-Fi is misbehaving. Hmm? The Wi-Fi is misbehaving. So just hang on to come in. Hang on, I'm coming. Hang on, I'm coming. Hold on, I'm coming. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen.
Sorry for the inconvenience. So, thank you for our internet. Okay. Hope you can all hear me right. Yes, please. We thank God. Bible say that if someone think of himself to be something, if someone think of himself to be something, whilst he is not, this person is saving himself. So, like I was saying, you were having. Um, um, you, you want to borrow your friend's uh, car and you sit in front of the steer. You hold the steer like this and you take selfie. You post it on social media. People see you, people begin to comment. Wow, is that your car? Wow. You don't come to say anything. You just keep quiet. So who am I deceiving? I am saying this to everybody. One way the order, you are doing something in your life. That is not the real you. I am here to admonish you to stop it. Be real, be realistic, be yourself. Don't hide behind anything. Don't hide behind any creative personality. Don't create artificial personality and hide behind that masquerade. You know, the women that do make over, that they paint their face, their lips, blah, 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 blah. What they are actually doing is that they are telling people to admire a beauty that is not them. Whatever is in front of them that people are admiring is artificial something that is not them. Their real natural beauty or the natural face is behind the paintings. So they are claiming that they have that smooth face. They have that lip color. They have that eyelash. But all those things are artificial. So they're deceiving themselves. Like a lady or a guy who bleaches the skin. Now, your real you is for the car you are having. So those of you that are bleaching, are deceiving yourselves. Our brothers and sisters who are in America, UK, Canada, Germany, Belgium, wherever you may find yourself, please maintain your skin color. Because if you change it, if you temper it, then it means you are becoming artificial human being. Your skin color wouldn't be your real skin color. Therefore, you are deceiving yourself. Bleach the skin because if you do that, you become a masquerader. You are hiding behind the white skin, whitening your skin, toning your skin. It makes you a deceiver. Please stop deceiving yourself. Sometimes when I watch the talk shows and the other programs online, or I don't know, I, I don't know their names. Let me see some African American. I'm not proud of my skin, and then I tone my skin. Now I look better. Now you don't look better, my dear. You don't look better. You don't know what's wrong with us. We live 
in a lie. We live in a lie. We are, we are not realistic people. You have to say your family business is there. Not even you know to say, hey. Do you want applause from people? Oh, okay. We want praises from people. Oh, okay. You want people to accept you. So you are playing, so you are abiding by their rules. You are playing their game so that they will accept you. My sister, you must not be like her to be pretty. You mustn't dress like her to be accepted. No. My brother, you must not be like them before you be appreciated. Be yourself. If you're really you, people are not appreciating you, then they have to do with God. Because it is God who made you the way you are. Are you telling me that God makes mistake or he makes mistakes in creating humanity? Anytime God is creating someone, does he make mistakes? The answer is no. So whoever you are, whatever you are, how you are, accept it. So you see, it boils down to the artificial lifestyle. You see a woman with wig, with wig, long one like this. Yeah? See them. Some of them, when you see the braid, yeah? it's expand all the way down to their ties, some of them to their calves, some of them to their feet. Last Sunday, after a radio program, we were coming home, and the host of the program told me something. We were all in the same car, taxi coming home. He said something. He said, look, look at this lady going. There was a lady passing by, and it caught my attention. He said, look at the lady going. And when I when I raised my head, I saw a lady with a long rasta, a braids, all the way to the feet. I said, what's wrong with her? And the guy told me, a certain lady died because of his carelessness, all because of the long braids, long rasta. What happened was that, I don't know what I was saying. So it was an Uber or boat or taxi, one of them. Or, yeah. After he, after she got to her destination, she came out of the vehicle. You know, the hair is very long. So I don't know what, what I don't know what that. Well, maybe her time has come. She forgot to pull all her hair out from the car. <laughs> she left some in the car and she slammed the door. The, and the driver sped off. That was the end of the lady. What would you call this lady? A foolish lady? A stupid lady? You might, but let me tell you, if you are also living in a lie, if you are also deceiving yourself, if you are also portraying a character that is artificial, then you are like that sister. One day, one day, one day, nemesis will catch up with you. I'm telling you, if you don't repent, if you don't stay away from lying things, artificial things, things that makes you a deceiver, one day, one day, Nemesis will catch up with you. Your sins will give you out. If you think you are something, whilst you are not, by deceiving yourself. Who is a way of bringing us one yet? Who is a good one? 
I love this. I love. I love the best three too much. He said, "For if anyone thinks himself to be something when he is not, he deceives himself. So if it's a female, herself." We will always see you. We, we will always see you praying. Whilst you know yourself, you are not there to pray. You are there for an agenda different from what you are doing. But because you don't want to be caught, you intentionally pray like how everyone else is praying. But so all your prayers are fake. Sometimes you go to church and there is communion. People are communing, are eating the communion, the bread and the wine. You don't want people to see that you are a bad person because a bad person, you cannot take the communion. You can't take the bread and the wine. If you have sinned, you can't take the bread and the wine. But because you want people to know that you are still holy, you risk your life and take the wine and the bread. Because if you refuse to take it, people will begin to suspect you. So, you. so you want them to continue to believe that you are still pure and holy person that they know. Ah, 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 ah. We risk our life anyhow. We don't care the consequences that will befall on us. We are always looking forward to, we are always looking to please people. We are always, we, opt, we always want to let people applaud, applaud us. We always want people to praise us. Whilst we don't deserve them. You don't deserve it. <laughs> let me continue. I will say that in the verse number four, but let each one examine his own work and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone, not in another. This is very deep. You need to examine yourself so that if you, after examination, if you have done something, you can boast and rejoice in the small thing you have done, but not the bigger thing someone else has done. That's what we do. We don't do anything for God. And we, um, 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 we deceive people who are doing something. Why do we not do anything? When we are in our closet, behind closed doors, we begin to praise and appreciate those who are doing the real thing, the real men, the real women. We praise them. What we ourselves, we have nothing to rejoice in. The initial, you know how I am? The initial, yeah, 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 and we and when we are assuming all is all, all is well. In the OAA, we are whilst all is not well. My sister, my brother, it's about time you begin to examine yourself. It is about time you examine yourself. It's a simple soul, Moshe. Look at your certificate you have. How did you get it? Come on, Pastor Nyaya. The car you're riding. How did you get it? Should do bios means or genuine means? My brother, my, my friend is having uh, 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 a new car. So I must also get a new car. Master, look at these figures. Are they all the same? These fingers that you are seeing, at the height they say, 
The answer is no. So we all have separate and different destinies. So if someone's time is today, my brother, your time might be tomorrow. You don't need to fret. You don't need to overstretch. You don't, you, you don't need to do things you wouldn't want to do. Just to acquire wealth is not worth it. Amen. Examine yourself. Are you in the faith? Examine yourself. Are you on the right track? Examine yourself. Are you deceiving people? Examine yourself. Are you realistic? Examine yourself. Are you for real? Examine yourself. Do you go to church for the proper reasons? Do you go to church? Is your prayers correct prayers? Are you evangelizing or to please human beings? Are you giving offering to please human beings? Are you sure? You're not pleasing human beings. Have you examined yourself? You need to examine yourself properly, my brother. Examine yourself. So, who share? One who saw who share, not going to say. My dear, you may rather than any other. Just make sure you examine yourself thoroughly. So, who share? A true tree, who see will not say. So, who share? Menantia, Menantia, no. Hey, Papa. And another room, sometimes the way we walk, it's not even how we walk. We're learning people, artificial lives everywhere. Don't you know that you will carry your own burden? Don't you know that judgment is waiting for you? We need to be serious in our life. We need to be serious in our life. I told that one. We share how a deep baby air forces was soon young coupon. And they are forcing, they are doing everything in their power. They are, they are striving to enter through the narrow gate. They are doing everything in their power to make it. If I see people like that, I love it so much. But one question is this. But if for people, all the strugglings and all the effort they are doing, I think being realistic, I think really real, I don't know deceiving themselves in a way. Hmm. I'm afraid to say that, but let each one examine his own work. Are you getting me? The Bible says his own work. On one day, my sister, my question for you What work have you done for God? What work have you done for God? Can you stand in front of God? And beat your chest like King Hezekiah. When God sent Isaiah the prophet to go and prophesy to King Hezekiah that Hezekiah, you are coming to die. Put your house in order for you die. When Isaiah left, King Hezekiah went down on his knees, faced the wall, and began to cry. He said, God, remember. How I have walked uprightly before you. Can you beat your chest and point work that you have done for God? Can you point something that you have done for God? Can you pinpoint? Look at the verse 4. It says that let each one examine his own work. So if there is no work, what are you going to examine? So in actual fact, all the work you did after examination, you will know that they are really no work at all. They were not work at all. You were just doing something you didn't understand. You were just living a lie, masquerader, deceiver. Whatever you did 
was trash, gibberish. They were all useless. They have all been burnt into ashes. Nothing is left. So after examining yourself, you are back to zero. You have nothing in your account. So what work are you going to point? Because after examination, you know that you, you, you did not do those work out of a genuine heart. So they are all bent and gone. Then you ask Said, but let each one examine his own way, and then he will have rejoiced in himself alone. Ah, uh -uh. it rejoice in himself. The point is that God, I need more grace to be able to work. Hey, hey. So the work that you are doing, you are asking for more grace. So they told so it means there is a work. I know there's no work. What will you pinpoint? What, in what work will you rejoice? Don't you know that is the work you do for God that is building mansion for you in heaven? The work you do for God, they send materials to God in heaven. Angels use them to build mansion for us. In your own way, you can do something for God. It is not those who are preaching on the street. What is that for God? No, 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 no. Go check your tent. Start doing something. Clean the chairs. Like, ask yourself, God, what is my work? Anytime God calls someone, God has a sermon for you. Have you ever seen a father calling his son without knowing why he's calling the son? Anytime you call someone, you have a sermon or something to tell the son. If I'm calling you, I'll send you. If I send you, I'm sending you somewhere. You have a destination. I can't go send you on an errand. Just go a room. But no, I won't do that. So when God calls anybody into the, into the kingdom, there's an assignment for you. It's up to you to look for which assignment is assigned for you. Another verse number five. It says, for each one shall bear his own load. So if you see me preaching, you're not going to bear my load for me or with me, or you're not going to assist me in bearing my load. The same way, whatever you're also doing, I'm not going to bear with you. So you, are, you will bear it alone. You will carry it alone in my own to alone into judgment. So my sister, nothing, nothing will hide from God. Whatever you are doing, you are doing today, it is tomorrow that you know that you have done yourself. Don't be like a partridge who broods on an egg that he did not, uh, 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 hatching on hatching egg, did not lay them. Don't be like a partridge who is laying, trying to hatch eggs that he didn't lay. A cochredia. And you are on the two yet. Why do you see a partridge laying on eggs that it did not hatch? Uh, trying to lay, trying to hatch eggs that is laying on that that partridge did not lay those eggs. Trying to hatch them. You didn't let them, and you are trying to hurt them. What if those eggs, one of the eggs, is a snake egg? Have you thought of that? You are laying on eggs, trying to hurt them, which you didn't let those eggs. What if is a viper's egg or cobra. After hatching them, so too they can bite you. For the end, you have wasted your time and, the, and, and, and no shakes for you. 
It's one other than all. All because that package wants other partridges to know that she too is capable of laying eggs. What those legs you didn't lay, you didn't lay them. You shall bear your own load. Whatever you are reaping, you are sowing today, you shall reap them tomorrow. Look at the verse 6. Let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. So if somebody is teaching you and you have goods, the word of God says that you are to share with the one who is teaching you. I'm not saying I want money. I'm not saying I want money from you. But what I'm saying is that you should know how the word of God goes or how it's applied. Some people, when they go to church, it's, it's hardly they give. It's hardly they give. The pastor teaching them, the pastor preaching them, they, they feel happy to the pastor going hungry. It is written that who is teaching you, you must share with him the good things you have. It's also part of the work that you need to do for God. When was the last time you bought something expensive for your pastor? When was the last time you shared, you shared something valuable with your pastor? The pastor who teaches you how do you treat him? It's written, let him who is taught the way share in all good things with him who teaches. The good things can be money, can be car, can be anything. If you're not sure, ask the pastor, what does he want? What does he want? What does he need in his life? Or in the work, or the work of what he's doing? Does he need something? So the good things you have, share with him. Is also part of the work. If you are doing it, don't repeat that thing, you know, that deceptive life. Then you promise, Pastor, Pastor, I'll give you a car. Then Pastor is, pastor is expecting a car. Then you send a moto, moto, bicycle, you a motorcycle to the Pastor. Pastor, I will give you. Um, which car, bro? Uh, Pastor, I will give you V8. Well, Range Rover. Hyundai I think. Hyundai I think. Mm. <laughs> Hyundai I think. You are very, very wicked, man. <laughs> Pastor, Pastor, I will buy smartphone, iPhone, iPhone 13 or iPhone 12 for you, Pastor. You have been blessing us. I'll buy iPhone for you. Pastor is expecting an iPhone. You go and buy yam. Do you know yam? What about yam? A, a phone that's not smartphone. You just said, Pastor. But that's my phone. No? How do you that thing there? If you're going to do good to your pastor, please do it right. It's also part of the work. You know, giving is also part of the work we do for God. If you are listening to me, you don't know how to give, please, it will go against you in the day of judgment. Your tight, don't joke with them. Don't joke with your tight. If you have no, if you don't know whom to give to, pray for it. And God, whom should I pay my tight to? If only you don't have you, you, you don't belong to any denomination. Pray that God. You have a tithe in my one. For God to show you to give a tithe to somebody. Remember, any genuine man of God is, is worthy 
to receive tithe. But please pray before. But if you belong to a church, that one, your tithe goes to that church. But if you don't belong to any church, you are alone. Please pray for you before God show you that give your tithe to this man. Or maybe you have spot a certain man of God who is real, who is genuine, that you are so sure that this man of God is genuine, that you follow his teachings, you follow his preachings. You can pray to God that God, I will send my tithe to this man. Then you send tithe to him. But if you don't have anybody, you don't have any church, that one, please don't just get up and pay. Otherwise, you'll be, you be throwing your tithe away. And it will not be recorded in your account in heaven that you have paid tithe. No. Don't also joke with your offerings, normal offerings. That is if only you belong to church. If you go to church and you're giving offering, give some. It's part of the work. I'm quoting from Galatians chapter number six. Uh, oh, some, of them, some of them want to ask them, say, oh, Pastor, yes, I, I felt like I should be giving to you. That's what I've given to you. I said, are you sure? I said, yes. If I also, if I also receive that, I approve of it because I don't want to receive any money that I cannot account for. Any pastor receiving tithe, he will account for them. So I'm also conscious. Number seven, say, do not be deceived. God is not mocked for Whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Whatever a man sows, he will reap. So here goes to all the kind of work that we are doing for God. All the kind of work we are doing for God. Yes. A human human of God, you know. Pursuing every work you do, you are suing. Every work you do to go is a is a seed you are planting. If you are doing a correct work, eh, that work you are doing is a seed. If you're also doing wrong works, deceptive works, you are deceiving yourself. They are also seed you are sowing. A time will come that you would have to go and harvest. And the harvest day is a judgment day. You're going for the results. The exams you wrote, the exams you wrote, you're going for the results. So in the day of judgment before God, and God will open the book and you will see all the work you did. If your work were genuine, it means we are planting, you are sowing seed, which were good works. You are sowing to the spirit. Every genuine work is a seed that is being sowed to the spirit. And every deceptive work is a seed that is being shown to the flesh. So at the end, any seed which was sown to the flesh will result, or will, the result it will yield is corruption. And those who sow seed, one of the who sow seed to the spirit, one of the they will be reaping everlasting life. My question for you. Have you been sowing to the flesh or to the spirit? Which one have you been sowing to? God have mercy on us. Oh, 
I'm ready for the best seat. Then we start our prayers. Yeah, now I'm on fire. I say, for he who stores to the flesh, uh, to his flesh, I get in the point. Verse number eight. For he who sows to his, his flesh will of the same flesh who reap what is called corruption. But he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. So that from verse seven, he says that whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. So what is he sowing? He's sowing flesh. He's sowing flesh. So corruption will you reap. The one sowing to the spirit will also reap everlasting life. So you can never mock God. You can never deceive God. Whatever you are doing, you are doing yourself. You go to church, but you have the concubine. You go to church, but you are sleeping around. You go to church, but you are fornicating. You said you are a child of God, but you are sinning. Nobody has seen you. You do it in secret places. But I came to tell you that nothing hides from God. Whatever you are doing, you are going to reap it one day. Don't deceive yourself. Don't live a double life. Don't live a double life. My sister, brother, don't live a double life. Are you faithful to your husband? Please, if you are not faithful to your husband. Are you faithful to your wife? If you are not, please, be faithful to your wife. Everything will come to judgment. Let me tell you this. God is interested in everything we do. The day you are alone in your room, he's there with you. Even in your bathroom, he's there. Even in your closet, in your washroom, he's there. If you are talking to your son, your daughter, you think he's not interested. He is interested. He wants to listen to everything that you say to your children. In your workplace, he's there. You are alone in your car, he's there. He does what goes on your mind. God willing, that's the, we are going to talk about the secret camera. The secret camera. There's a secret camera that many people don't know. But we next week, we'll talk about it. it uh, sorry, coming Thursday, we'll talk about it. The secret camera. The secret camera. My brother, my sister. Enough the deceptive lie. Enough. A year what is a rabona woo born in Primuno, a rabona woo bona, a year and true a rabono. A year that when this meeting to take something away, and the topic for this message is that you cannot deceive anybody but yourself. What will you gain in deceiving yourself? What will you gain in lying to people? Tell people you are something that you are not. What will you gain? Nothing. And the end is death. Before we start prayers, I want to ask, does anyone has a question? Or people are questioning me so bizarre. Because as I'm speaking, I believe some people will be processing a lot of things in their memories. Oh, of course, you sir. Feel free to ask before we go to our prayers. On your mic and talk. If you have any questions. Um, Ready? Yes, Francis. Uh, God bless you for the teachings. 
Push down, God bless you. Also. Yeah, um, I wanted to ask, not because I'm busy, I say, there are times when people see you and then they have this perception, they have this mindset about you. How do you also treat that? Because sometimes some people don't know you, but they, because of maybe um, they see you and then they kind of have some thoughts. But until they get closer, that is when they know, oh, okay, he's he's not like that, he's like this. So that one, how do you also like handle such a situation? Okay. Some people will be over the more. They have already condemned you in their mind. So if people like that, without any basics, they condemn you in their mind, they will rather be guilty in judgment because you have not done anything to them. And you are living a genuine life. It's because some of them, they are jealous or envying you. They empty you or they are jealous. Jealousy, yeah, there's jealousy. Or how a movie say, Oh, Chira won't do. It's your own, no, 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 It's up to them. It's emptiness. It's jealousy. So long, so, so long as you are living a real life, you are just being yourself, you are doing what you have to do for God. They can go ahead and criticize you. They can go ahead and condemn you. They can go ahead and do whatever they want to do. Continue doing what is right and what is good. And at the end, God will judge all of them. Just pray for them. Uh, Clever. What's your name? Uh, Daddy. I'm going to point you out. Yes. 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 Sometimes you say, sometimes you cry for me. Maybe we'll be in a demand and I say, would you run out the idea? And I saw a bicycle, so I said, BBC, people don't see you using that. But almost you can almost start to hear, because hey, we'll find you and I say, maybe by then. Also, I know what you said, I could be because you are not the mood to talk or explain things to them. So you didn't mind them, you are just doing your things. And they were claiming that the bike or the things that you are holding belongs to you. Does that also mean that you are portraying something that you are not? Or... It will depend. Sir, sir, Obi, ever the phone. And now, so that I'm making a phone. Eh? Oh, they call him. If they be you, Obi phone. Oh, they call him. Oh, but everybody now wants to be a guy. I get to me. Who present the name of your guy? You also didn't know. Of course, a crowd will not want to hear. What they are. If, so long as you are holding the phone, if people see, they will think the phone is yours. Meanwhile, the phone is not yours. You just collected it from your friend. Why? Where are you taking the phone to? Why are you going about with somebody's phone? If not, you want them to think, think, say, hey, you have a new phone. Since you don't want to explain yourself, unless you borrowed from someone that Charlie, I don't have a phone. You have two phones. Give me one. If I buy my own, I'll give it to you. And the person gives you the phone. That one has given you to take it away. But that was like a call. If the person give you some something of his that you take it away, bring it when you finish. That one, if people ask you, hey, is it for you? If you don't answer them. On their money, they can go ahead and think it's yours. It doesn't matter because the person who's the person who gave the phone or whatever it is to you, as if a call. What the what people will see it. So when they see that they're asking you, you can answer them, you can to answer them. But when the person has not, the person has not given you the right to go away with the thing, oh Gina Shek, would you other fast? What about you? If you're not a thief, why are you going with the thing? 
if you're not going to show off for somebody's, somebody's, somebody's property. It's not important. It's not important. I don't, I don't know why people cherish these things that are going to be banned. Then my conversation says, you're cherishing, Papa. Somebody dashed me for it's a nice phone, though. But definitely, this phone has expired it. I bought phone to day 18. If you see the phone today, you say that, ah, so for buy a new phone. Somebody has given me a new phone. One, one thing, one day, this phone to expire this. Who oh, cut this phone? So I'm um, clever. So Obi, I'm a wadi, na, and you would be a. So I feel good here. Oh, she will be a friend of mine. But what I must have called here, and then you'll be some one money wire when you're money here. But to be some so, as well as Uber money wire, if, if somebody asks you and you are to answer, please tell the truth. That's it. Okay, let um, I want some more question. Uh, question, okay. Patron Bezemi, Obiba, sorry. Probably because of marriage and any material thing be. Sandy Pano, the purpose, no, 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 Um, want to go to heaven, and there are others who don't know what they are doing. Example, let's read something from the book of Jonah, okay? Then the Bible's book of Jonah. If you are, if the Bible is, if the Bible is with you, open Jonah. Uh, Jonah, the, the prophet Jonah. There's something I want us to look concerning this question. My is asking. Yeah, or say, and should I not pity the Navy, that great city in which are more than 120,000 persons? Now, look at the point I'm, 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 I'm looking for. He says, who cannot descend between their right hand and their left? So, God is telling Jonah that the people of Nineveh. They cannot differentiate between what is right and what's wrong. So people like this, they're just like animals. They do things anyhow. Whatever they do, they have, I don't know how many cannot. On my side, I'm webbing up. They cannot differentiate between their left hand and their right hand. Yes, there's some people like that. They go to church. They don't know why they go to church. They don't know why that church is there. That temple, but only the temple, but only But only we say, as I have said, the whole point is, or what? No matter how, how much now. But I'm talking about and go far. Only we say, as I said, we know, a idea, the core of the whole thing, what? How you the point is, how you hear me? The core of the whole thing, the infant trunk, the the infant body, the core. And I make out. I also have an accord. Now, of course, that's all the more. Also, dear, one now, one or left, no right, everywhere, no. Also, got the same thing. Remember, these, these people who didn't know their left from their right, God was about to destroy all of them. When we were on my left, I right, you know, God was about to exterminate the whole city. Until he sent Jonah, he went and warned them before they realized that, ah, so what is why we have been sinning? And he died. But that's why we preach to people. But looking at honor, the purpose of going to church, they know, they know the purpose of going to church. They are very much aware, my brother. But somewhere, somehow, 
they have gone there with, the, with wrong motives and wrong intentions. That is very dangerous. Tell me, Eka. Um, but your question, no, still answer them, Mayo. Simple, same who said, "Ni pasa ano, ni pasa ano, no waba sorry." Na drain is a beer, you binya ye binya kujano. Obe ware ne ya kubwa no no na drain ye heavy inti. So ni pano no na buy, na ware ne friend. Okay. 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 Holy Spirit, a bear arresting all. I don't know, a year, you look on a shot to us. I'm so much in upper, let's feel any of this one. And then the planting, but a young one, some last one is said, almost a idea. Eighty, so be back sorry, them one. And yet, none of you are one above. You are the one shot to us. I'm so born watching. But I say, so in this case, we're talking about people who are going to church, church goers, some of the year, church goers. But back, sorry, they put on our friend, no, and I said, on our back. Who be one of one? A year, no one about church, no. A year, the needs, any, the wants, never your open. All them say, I saw the Benyamano, Joko Ramonama, you see, kind of mindset, or the big brother of the more. Now, people like that, the most of them, the devil uses them to hit out the church. You do not know what they are kind of mind, no. Most about 90-something percent, the devil, devil uses them in the church. I found the devil one the devil one is that programming or more. Say, the first one is that they are That's all. Evelyn, Opoku, you have a question? Yeah, um, thank you, Papa. Um, I have a question. I have a question in regards to, um, like, we here will be aware this addition here and what are some, yeah. like, near marketing kids to be able to be able to be able to be able to because for the most part, every day they are all like class or like all library, or you're, you're always like attached to your books, kind of, which shouldn't be. But in our conduct and other things, saying you to me, Ayina Mujuma Abra, yeah, yeah. Um, Yanka saying pursuit, I guess. I don't know. All right. No coupon. Oh, mre at the moment. Yeah. Aside that, no snow. Anybody at all who is not evangelizing is already scandalizing. I get to me. Anybody at all who is not evangelizing is already scandalizing. You are always caught up with studies, lectures, here and there, always busy with your books. At my Now, that does not stop you from sharing the word of God. You have friends, you have family. Nothing stops you. I know over Canada, okay? And I know Canada, I believe, sir, you have Canada person who school. Is that right? Yeah, but I'm in a Christian setting, so it's a bit different, yeah. And you can't pass in one class. Yeah. You're born by one of my class, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Because and more Christian uh, setting, yeah. yeah. And the American entities are more American entities. Oh, America for the Mukasa. And this, uh, it's not like that because with the American setting, they kind of believe, say, it, it will cause confusion and it will bring some misunderstanding. So even the name of God, it's not mentioned in the schools, even with the kids, unless it's a Christian school, your son or your daughter is going, you, you don't have that. So oh. he's very right. Yes. We, it's a big confusion even now. 
they're sending out more trash so more okay. gay and lesbian all those things to include no it's it's we need all the prayers <laughs> Yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Let's say boom by then. Of boom that way. All right. So, um, um, Evelyn. So you are fortunate to be the school that um, prayer is allowed. The name of Jesus Christ is allowed to be mentioned, and they will tell you, Evelyn. So what we will be doing is this: you know, this be this opportunity and witness Jesus Christ. Holiness to your friends at myself and um, your family. Okay, try and witness Christ to them also. And if you have Facebook page or YouTube account, social media, whilst the whilst daughters of the devil are posting nudity, they are posting trash over there, you can also paste or post things that concerns holiness. There might be a fact from going here so that you also be creating awareness. It's part of the work. It's part of the work. And if I say, who so microphone and quantity that will preach it, you are doing the work. No. It comes in diverse ways. Diverse first ways and you know if you can do what i'm telling you you'll be good it does say it does say papa all right mr aluti have a question papa i'm actually yes my peer we know is yeah but along the line you mentioned tight which okay. goes to the church. And uh, you also mentioned, say, if you don't, unless you don't have a place of worship, you have to pray for God to give you the right direction as to where to put it. Um, yes. So my, my question is that, uh, which is a little half and half uh, based on whom we meet uh, one will tell you they prayed they did not really hear from God, so they gave it to the needy, like the the woman who needs shelter, help, food, and all that. Some people share their tithes along the road. Um, is it the right thing to do? That's the first one. And also, the people you come across who will tell you they didn't know. So now that they know, I know tithes uh, has some restitution you have to uh, go through if <laughs> it's not done the proper way. But in the case of Obia only, no, they don't know, but now they have come to know. And so yeah. more or less like them starting, what do they do? All right. It is so wrong to pay your tithes to the needy in our hands. It's so wrong. <coughs> Let's okay. be honest with ourselves. And let us ask ourselves this basic question. The tithe was instituted by God for one purpose. That is the money God gives to those who do his work. Mm. The Levite had no portion in the inheritance of the Israelites. So their portion <laughs> and their inheritance was the tithe God gives to them. Mm -hmm. So in all their life, they are devoted to do the work of God. So how would they survive? So this was a tithe. Mm -hmm. Now, fast forward in the New Testament, the priesthood line is no more. Now, mm -hmm. God has replaced with the fivefold ministry: the prophet, yeah. the pastor, 
the teacher, the evangelist, and the apostle. God has replaced those people doing his work, which were the Levites, the Aaron, the blah, blah, blah. He has replaced them with the apostles or the fivefold ministry. So the fivefold ministry has now taken over from the Levites. Hmm. So since the fivefold ministry has taken over, the tithe will now go to them. Mm -hmm. So it is no more a national, a national something, but it's now individual. Just as God is also choosing individual to do the work. You know, those times, you know, God was using a whole tribe, okay, of a, of a nation that they should do his work specifically to do his work. So which were the Levites. So a specific nation like Israel, the other 11 tribes, they were paying their tithes to the one tribe God chose. Today, it's not a national something, but it's not individual. Just as God chooses individual to be his minister, he also chooses individuals to pay tithes. So when and an individual like me, God has chosen me to do his work, he will choose another in, individual somewhere to pay his life to be. So it has narrowed down to this path. And it is a weird man. Definitely, God will use heavenly oh. contractor person to bring you the sheep to him. Hmm. It is difficult for someone to make heaven without a shepherd. Unless God himself intervenes and he will save you in his own way. Otherwise, you need a shepherd before you can go to heaven. But unfortunately, the false ones are many out there. So what do we do? We pray for God to show us the true man of God. And sometimes, if you are if you are watching someone who is a genuine of God, you will know. Because God has written the law in our hearts. So if somebody, God says that, the time is coming, nobody will tell somebody that no God, for they will know God by themselves because the law will be written in their heart. That's the era where we find ourselves in right now. So when God wants to pay your tithe to someone, I'll come to the first one. So when God wants to pay your tithe to someone, somebody will say, maybe I'm buy you a country, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you will also have their, their, it's not only you hearing the voice of God, you also have inner conviction. You will be convicted within yourself that I should put my head to this man. You will feel it within yourself. It's also part of how God deals with man. You overthink and say, This man is a man of God. I'll pay my life to him. And if you don't know pay your life to a genuine man of God, God will accept it. You only pray. But without the conviction and without any, anything from God, you know, just pay your tithe. Just make sure the man of God is genuine. If you have no proof, don't pay your tithe. Tell them, Wabuano, until they don't have that conviction. One day, when the God will connect you to a righteous, genuine man of God, then you pay your tithe to him. Because whatever tithe you pay, it must work. Like, for instance, we always do the work of God. We are always evangelizing. We are, we are always doing crusades. We are going up and down. We always need money for the work. So if you pay a tight example, those who pay the tight to me, if their tight comes, the tight do something for God. So there's always, like your, a bank using your money to work, there's always an interest. So if I pay, if you, if you, if you deposit your money somewhere, then you should work, you don't get anything out of it. That's how the whole thing is. So if your money goes to a gentleman of God and he uses the Lord of God, there is always an interest that comes back to you there. That's who get it. So all those who have paid the tithe to me, who use the, who use the tithe to do the work of God, if they, they are right, they have interest in their account. Now, having said that, doesn't mean that we should neglect orphans and widows. Doesn't mean that. So, when you see that, to type it one more. Yakano, Gibi, the commander of the name in your phone. A tight lady, 
Unyo bero manwa. Mawalugu. And that the right thing. Now, Uncle Fonswa, Omoaka, almost almost say, eh, any obia, any manu, um, that is a sicano, let me be more, made a bit cheers, uh, after the one of the poem. Is there any restitution? Okay. You have already paid it. You didn't know at then. Now you know. It will be a good chair to touch anything. Now, Metun Junibu. He said, Yeah, Babuano. That change the inner conviction, and now you see it in your dream. And now, what you are soon. The person should have to pay that. Manenya, when you ask let it be um, your consent in your prayers. Every time you pray, pray over with a God, who should have my time to God. He will be to you in dream, or you will hear it, or you have the inner conviction that, you know, let me give it to Pastor Usapa. Are you getting me? So, start it here with your question. I don't know if I've answered you correctly. Yes, you have. Um, just to add the way you explain to the fivefold ministry in our current time, no? Uh, if not by revelation, uh, is there anything to support us? So we know, say, um, this is what we have, you know? Um, I don't know if my question makes sense. Oh, it's not coming clear. It's not coming clear. So in, in other words, I'm trying to find a scripture to back me on the fivefold ministry where now they receive tithes and uh, compared to the olden days where you explained that the Levites didn't have anything but what was given to them when the land was being shared, the only thing they had was a tithe so they can take care of themselves. So now that we have, because some people will argue with you, hey, this is an Old Testament stuff. So now that we're referring to the fivefold ministry, which goes to the pastors, the elders, and uh, anything to give to us the if uh, the prophet, which is the apostles and the evangelists. Yes. Okay. Here is it. You see this arm. I'm showing you something. See this arm. It is one arm like this. And then when it ends, it becomes five. This is the lever. This is my arm here. Most of the things I say, I receive from God. This is the hand, the lever. Now, it has come down. So when it comes here, it becomes, it becomes fire. So that now the tight or the arm ends with five fingers. Okay. <clears throat> when the lever is were in place by then, they were receiving the tax. Let's see what Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew, chapter number 23, verse 23. Now, I'm reading for the New King James Version. Matthew 23, verse 23. Bible says, <clears throat> Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithes of meat and armies and coming and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faith. This you ought to have done without leaving the others undone. So it means God here is saying, mercy, faith, and justice, they are the weightier matters. But the lightier matters are kind and money aspects. So Jesus Christ here is saying that we should focus on the weightier matters and we should not also forget the lightier matters. So the lightier matters are money aspects and the weightier matters are the justice, the faith, and the mercy aspects. They're the weightier matters. So we, we must do both. 
I say here to me now. So here Christ is approving that we should not let go the tithe. We should pay them. And when he came, he did not receive tithe. Since we Christ didn't receive tithe. What Christ received was offerings and gift. There's a reason for that. So after Christ had gone, don't forget that at that time, the Levite were still there receiving tithe. At that time, the priest was there still killing animals. At that time, the high priest was there. So all the Israelites know that when there is a tithe, it's a place to send them. So they did not see the apostles as people who had to pay their tithes to. But that time, after Christ went back to heaven and the Holy Spirit came, the Holy, Holy Spirit came, then the apostles' work began. Now, when their work began, what they did was that they did not include tithe in their daily activity. People were selling things they have. Because someone who went sell his car, someone who went sell his land, like valuable things which were more than tight. They brought them to the apostles. That So God Gradually, the temple, which was there uh, from the time of um, Solomon back to Herod, where they were killing the animals, was destroyed. So when the temple was destroyed, the Israelites, they scattered. The, the only scattered. So, Obian Chia Abiyam Obiabu. So now the thing moved from the Israelites. Now begin to enter into the to Gentile nations. So the Holy Spirit began working. Signs were following the apostles wherever they were going. So now when they got that time, they got to know that where we have come right now, these are not Israelites. These are not Israelites. So it has moved from, like I said, from a nation to individual. So they got to know that now it has come to individual. The individuals now they will pay tight individually. And the people who later became uh, who were in place of the apostles, they also now started receiving tithe for the work because Sunday night till beginning, you know, and this have you, and this have you, and the tithe must have no, a belief full of contentions. Do I do say trip, say trip, say trip, say trip? If we are to give our tithe, God. There is always a testimony of those who give their tithes. So, if nothing at all, if you look at that one, you know that tithe is really working. If you give tithe and nothing works, then you know that you are throwing money away. But if you give tithe, you receive the blessings. And it is evidently clear out there. So, aside the revelation aspect, you know, Jesus Christ did not cancel it. No one canceled it. If say that I you know, and it may be more, guys have canceled it. No, he wasn't receiving tithe. So he could have cancelled it. But no, he knew that the time is coming to be activated again. That's why he did not cancel it. But if you go to the book of book of Act, you will never find tight there because they never spoke about it. They never spoke about it. But it's evident that those who were giving were receiving blessings up to now.
anybody who gives tithe receives lessons. So if you go to the Old Testament, you get to know that it is something that if you don't do, you're robbing God. I go to Balakai. So um, the name again, <laughs> Alex. Are you okay with the answer? Yes, yes, I'm very okay. Thanks for the detailed explanation. It's it's perfect. I'm good. Yes. Any other any question? Okay. Question be one on one. Uh, me, I'm not I'm actually not clear, but then clear about what? My question uh Obi Actual, blast, sorry. See, see, Obi one on one. Those people know, most of them know, but some of you saw for church. I'm having a matter there. So, no one, no and such people know, and I born some of you saw them. Yes. Yes. I read the arrest in through that, not why any juma. No, no. One man to come arrest him one. I'm going to jump on my back. I'm going to put the pin on my back. Okay. The two things are the same. The two things. We will bash on it. The young man, the young man, the pin on my back. So we pass our jail. We saw the man in front. On one hand, the pin in that church. I'm going to phone him, but sometimes you saw my back. And then you want more, but some more. All right, my chance. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Say yes, my chance. That's what I can do. Yes, yes. The time to come, Papa. So we're going to pray like 15 minutes. God willing, Thursday, APR, because it's there, and then, then. Now, because Thursday, a very secret camera. You know that this was be careful that we take it come out about the Thursday. So um, let's go down on our knees. We're going to pray 30 minutes, 15 minutes prayers, because we are supposed to close uh Ghana time 2 a.m. 2 a.m. I say So we have to take about 16, 17 minutes more to close. So let's go down on our knees. Please, empire the body. What? We only go be. We only we only pack bomb fire in it. Peter, what do you feel? Time to come. Time to come. Let's have a little bit of a straight. Asida, Jedi Mo, Yami, Jedi Mo, Yami, I see Come on, we hope your mouth and thank the Lord this very day, whether it's in the morning, in the night, in the morning, whatever time it is. Come on, pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you. So I feel so thank you. Jesus, Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name.
We are praying and we are asking the Lord God to fill us with His Holy Spirit. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit will lead us, will teach us, will remind us, will help us. We need the Holy Spirit. Therefore, open your mouth. Open your mouth. So I'm going to move on, go on, go on, show me. Go on, fire. Oh, that we might live a mystic life. 
na on the pass of the mayo. Tell how it's your day. Tell your problem to God. He is here. He is answering. God will answer you. Open your mouth and let your request, your problem. Tell God your problem. But why? This world, and if you are still an Irish shit of a bonsa, the beer does not do no upon some or wonderful or pen camp, I will take you over. No other than the six sixes number. The vampire said, A poor pony, and she said, A pony, never who will be a monsum and will feed the poor pony for a moody baby. I say, Am I a him for? One of the two me, a modi, them a bony baby, I say, through the vaccine, through the COVID Nabano, the pump I said, you are then say a pay for the man, you are then say Bonsam the man, you are then say a court to fund the man, you are then say a him for the man, all kings and president and heads of state who are demons, who are demonic, who want to destroy this world, who want to oppress and suppress believers. We are praying the Lord, the Lord God should destroy their plans. Anything they have planned to destroy, whatever destruction they have arranged, may God destroy. May God destroy their plans. Bombay Sumbiman. Just and talk, but we just and talk. We just and talk. We just and say, "I'm going to share." 
Church, no, after a day, the Mumpire Master for no. Bompire Mark was sorry. So, who knows what I will consult the air? And a Cambodian Bompire, Emma Salvation Way from the church. But so, I'm sorry, the air. Mention the name of your church and pray for your church. We are praying that God should uproot any demonic plant, any evil seed that the devil has planted in the church. We are praying. That God said, Bible said that, and upon this rock I will put my church, the gates of hell shall never prevail against it. Therefore, any power of serpent, any power of scorpion, any power of the devil that is fighting against the church, the Lord God should destroy them. Pray for the church that the church will be on his feet. Pray for the church that the church will grow. Pray for the church that people will come and will be habilitated. Pray for the church that the church will be a, re a, re a refuge for the oppressed. Pray, 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 pray for the church. Pray for the church. We are again praying that God should give us the grace to be able to do our everyday, the everyday things, our errands, work, and everything in this COVID vaccination season. On my hope, on my grace, even from Mkwe, I did pay every year, not any problem. Even this month and next year, let's pray against the work of the enemy and God grace to guard us in this vaccine era. Bon
You have delivered us from the snare of the fowler, and you have protected us from our foes. Therefore, we say thank you, Jesus. All our prayer requests, Father, all our petition, we have placed all them before you. My Lord and my God, be merciful unto us. Let it grant us this request. Let our request, let answers come and answer all our problems, our questions. COVID-19 vaccination, so that, so that the devil will know that they will plan, but until you allow it, it will never come to fulfillment. Therefore, tonight, this night, this evening, we are praying that daddy, the children protect us. From today to the end of the year, any accident, any bloodshed, any tragedy, any nightmare, we nullify all of them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and commit all those overseas into your soul, Daddy, to take them and deliver them from any trouble. We pray again this very moment that Father, have mercy upon those who are backsliding. Have mercy upon our families, our, our wives, our, our husbands who have not repented. Please touch them so they will repent. We clarify here and we thank you so much. Hearing our prayer. Let's see the prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, the Lord be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us these days our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 We thank God for another successful Zoom meeting. A little bit easy, but God has done it again. My what I will say is this. If you can have faith in your prayer and also make sure you are taking something from this meeting that you don't live a lie anymore. Okay? You don't lie anymore. If you have a wife, you love your wife. If you have a husband, love your husband. If you have your children, love them. Please, let love lead everything we do. God bless all of you. Clever, God bless you. Francis, mm -hmm. God bless you. Ramasai, God bless you. Mm -hmm. Ale, God bless you. His name is Asos X. Eh? Beatrice, okay, God bless you. Atule, N-E, God bless you. Benjamin Tete, God bless you. Charles Ajelo, God bless you. Charles Apia, God bless you. Deborah, God bless you. Emmanuel Mesa, God bless you. Ebenezer Ansa, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Heaven of Oku, Manu, God bless you. Somebody's name is Galaxy A11. You didn't write your name, but God bless you. Somebody's somebody phone is also ITL P6. God bless you. God bless you. Evelyn, Eva Agba, God bless you. Matilda Amma, God bless you. Maybe um, God bless you. Mouse. God bless you now. And God bless you. Wow. That's your wife. That's my sister. I have your my sister, sister and Tony. Tony. Yes, okay, nice. I have two people on there. There's Tony too on there. Your sister is very lovely. God bless you, my dear. <laughs> okay. And then we have um, Peter and Kuma, God bless you. And Tony, God bless you. Last one now. All right, Tony. So, in fact, uh, this meeting that you have joined will never be in vain. will never be in vain. God will bless you, and I'm sure that if there is something in your life that you have been struggling to let go, maybe an ungodly character or ungodly lifestyle that you have struggled to let go, it's my prayer that at the end of today's meeting, God will give you the strength to erase that character out of your life. Mm, it's, my, it's, my, it's my desire, my prayer. So, make sure you join or you visit our platforms on YouTube where you get a lot of powerful messages, teachings that will open your eyes in the scriptures. You go to YouTube, you, 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 you search Salvation Way Family Church. A lot of messages are there that they can equip you in your Christian faith. Also on Facebook, same Salvation Way Family Church. Yeah, you will have a lot of crusade messages there. Evangelism messages there. Also, if you go to my personal page on Facebook also, all the Zoom that we do, they are live there. You can go and watch them. Let's go to the planet. We shall meet again, God willing. Thursday, please be sure to be here. Coming Thursday. The same time, 11.45, Ghana time. And we close to 8 a.m. Ghana time. Today, we've done 20 minutes past our usual closing time. It's because 
I took questions as well.